Hi, it's me, JD, and welcome back to my channel. Did you know you can make virtually any word cut you need with the help of an electronic cutting machine, such as the Cricut? It's one of the main reasons I bought my Cricut Explore. I still use metal dies and my traditional die cutting machines, but in my situation, I am short on space money. <laughs> so getting an electronic cutting machine just made more sense for me if I wanted to, you know, create different word dies or have different um, letters cut out without spending a fortune on metal dies and without having a bunch of metal dies take up even more space in my tiny little crafty corner. In this video, I will be showing you a bunch of different techniques that you can use with your Cricut machine or your electronic cutting machine to make virtually any word cut for any sentiment that you might need. For any handmade cards or paper crafts, I think an electronic cutting machine is kind of the future. I mean, it, it is technology reliant, but it's still pretty user friendly. So sit back, subscribe, and let's get cutting. You can create practically any sentiment you want when you have an electronic cutting machine. I'm using the Cricut today for this tutorial. I'm opening up Design Space and the first thing I like to do when creating word cuts is to create a placeholder for my word cuts. I'm a card maker so I like to make uh, placeholders that you know are either A2 size or maybe slimline card size, scrapbookers might want to use a whole 12 by 12 place, um, placeholder uh, or you know whatever size surface you know your, your word cut is going to be on. This, this will help give you an idea of the size and the placement of the words, perhaps you know how the letters uh, look together, are they too close, are they too far apart, you know etc etc. So right now I've got an A2 size rectangle in my background as a placeholder and now I hit the T te for text button to cre uh, create my happy birthday text. And I'm just playing around with it, seeing what I like, what I don't like about this um, current word. And what I don't like is that <laughs> I wanted it to be capital letters. So I just quickly changed that and I'm going to shrink it down and continue to fuss with it until I'm happy with it. Another great thing about the Cricut is that you can cut more than one sentiment at one time. So I'm going to temporarily hide the happy birthday sentiment by clicking that I button and then I'll type out a new sentiment with the words thanks. You can certainly leave that other sentiment there but I think it's kind of distracting when I'm trying to get uh, a good you know, idea of how I want the word thanks to be. So again, the word thanks and the word happy birthday are going to be on two separate projects, but I'm just making them both within design space so they can go through the Cricut machine, the Cricut cutting machine w during one pass through. I'm going to repeat this process with another sentiment, uh, just the word hello, you know, just because. And I'll be able to cut all of these on one pass through. Now, as you can see, there's so many fonts to choose from. You can have your own fonts, use Cricut's fonts, use the free fonts, but there's just so much variety that you could really just have a different look to any sentiment. I'm actually going to make duplicates of this word cut uh, just because this is how I want the design of my card to look like. I want my greeting card to enthusiastically say hello five times. I will then group all of these hellos together and then align them vertically so they look less messy and it just makes it easier to move. I'm going to click the eyeballs again on my other sentiments so they all appear on design space again and that way I can be prepared to cut them when I hit make it to go to the next window. As mentioned in my other Cricut video, placement on this step of your design doesn't really matter. It's when you hit the make it button and go to the preview screen where placement is important. This screen is where you see the actual orientation of what your machine is going to cut. And you see it moved all of my word sentiment to the top of the cutting mat. This is uh, just a Cricut quirk that just uh, wants to save on your material so it assumes you're using a 12 by 12 card stock and just filling the entire cutting mat uh, with it but in my case I use eight and a half by 11 um, card stock I saw that my word cuts were not going to cut beyond the 11 inch mark so I think I'll be safe putting it here 
My Cricut is powered on and almost ready to go. I'm just going to open it up. As you can see uh, on the right that the load and unload mat button is blinking. And I'm going to insert my cutting mat under these little doohickeys <laughs> that guide it in. And then I'll press that button. And now that machine has taken a hold of the button, I'll press the Cricut button to do all the cutting. I'll show the cutting part here, but I'm gonna skip it for the rest of the tutorials because it's pretty much you know repeating itself over and over. So it's done cutting, I'll hit the unload button and you, my sentiments are all cut. Now with sentiments, especially with some as thin as mine, I like to peel the mat off the paper versus peeling the paper off the mat. This helps to prevent curling. I'm using some 80 pound cardstock and my machine um, cut it pretty well. I, I forgot to mention that I did set the dial to uh, medium cardstock. And this is why all my letters cut out perfectly. Um, I've just got to poke out a few that got stuck in the paper. And I have to be very careful because uh, some of them are really delicate. I've got like a Ray Dunn inspired thanks card. Um, I've got some typewriter hellos and some uh, sans serif happy birthday. So all kinds of different fonts and all different, different kinds of styles in one pass through with my Cricut machine. I love this thing. Another tip for you if you're doing these kind of sentiments is you can always use the negative part of your cut to form a template to place um, the positive part onto your surface. So right now I'm just filling in uh, the word happy birthday with a template that I cut out. Then when my letters are dry, I'm just going to peel that template off and my letters are nice and straight and spaced just right. Now you see the hello card, the hellos were a little bit off. So I'm just going to get a trimmer and just trim off some excess to help center this out a little bit. And cutting basic sentiments is just that simple. Since you can do so much customization with your word cuts, you can also uh, customize a letter or a number or a recipient's name. Um, for this example, I'm just going to cut out a letter, a large letter, and this is going to go on a card, but think of the possibilities. You can use this for posters, for banners, for pennants, for um, decoration. A standard Cricut mat is 12 by 12 inches, but there's some extended mats. So, I mean, you can create some large looking letters for your craft project. What I'm doing with this example is that they're different colors and they're gonna cut on the same mat. So I'm gonna make them the same color because I want to use this V cut as a cover plate. Now you see it, they're gonna cut two different pieces. Well, I don't want that. So actually I'm going to go back and select all of these layers and then scroll to the bottom and hit attach. Now this will paper clip them together and this is what I want. I want a card front cut out as well as the V cut out of it. I'll send that to the machine and once it's done cutting, I'm going to uh, carefully peel off the cutting mat and I'm left with a large cover card front and I can just imagine all the fun shaker cards that could be made with this. You can also keep the positive part for another card. My recipient's name uh, starts with a V so that's what I'm doing here. The Cricut Design Space software does a funny thing where when you type something out in a script font, it doesn't actually connect the letters. It shows them all as separate. As I make my placeholder, I'm going to type out my text. Uh, happy birthday again, because we all need happy birthday cards. <laughs> it always seems to be um, a last minute card you need. And then I'm going to go through my fonts and choose a nice script font. And like I mentioned, the letters are all separate and it's not exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to play around the size and then shrink the letter size with the, um, the option up at the top toolbar. to so just decrease the space between the letters. And um, now I'm going to play around the placement. Then I'll temporarily hide my placeholder and I'll select my text box and go to the right and hit ungroup. This will ungroup all of those letters into its own separate layer now and I can move each individual letter closer to each other. And this, um, when you do this, you want to zoom in a little and place your letters as accurately, accurately as possible. There's also a grid in the back to help you align things. When they're all connected the way I want, I just group each word together and that'll make it easier to move um, across design space. I could even resize it again. 
Now this next step is to help protect your work. So I'm going to select each of these words and I'm going to duplicate them. And then I'm just going to hide them because the next step I have to do uh, to cut out these script words is to weld the letters together. Once you weld it, it's permanent. So I like to have a backup copy just hiding in the back just in case I need to rearrange any of the letters again. The weld button is along the bottom right. And now that I've, all my letters are welded together and um, my other uh, copy is hidden, I'm going to bring back the template just to make sure um, I like the orientation and size of this. As with the first example, I'm going to make another sentiment just so I can save some time and run them both on one pass through through the machine. So I'll just hide that by clicking the eyeball and now I'm going to type out another sentiment. The text box will default to whatever font I used last, so in this case it defaulted to that script font. But now I'm going to show you another technique where if you're going to use non-script font to cut out your sentiment in one piece. So um, I'm just browsing around and looking for a non-scripty font and I like this one. And you can see that the letters are far apart. Well, if I connect them just like I did with the script font, it'll cut out in one piece. This could be done by either decreasing the letter spacing or like I did, I showed you earlier where I ungrouped all of the letters within the word and then just moved them individually so they touch. Same as before, I make a copy and hide that to have as a backup just in case. And then for my actual uh, word cut, I'm going to weld the letters together. I'll bring back my placeholder to have one last look to make sure that it'll look right onto my card front. I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger here. And then I'll hide the placeholder and bring back my other scripty sentiment so I can have them both to cut on one pass through. I'm liking what I see, so I'm going to hit the big green make it button at the top right to take me to the preview screen. And I'm going to be cutting on some scrap paper here, so I'm just going to move these letters to, or these words to the um, top left corner to help save on paper. After the machine is done cutting, I'm just going to pop out all of these sentiments. And what I like about these scripty sentiments or these um, sentiments where the letters are touching is that you can pop them out and you glue them in one go. You don't have to worry about gluing each individual letter, making sure it's straight. It's just all there for you and, it's, and uh, you don't have to worry about lining it up. You can also make an entire card panel of word cuts with a negative space. And this is similar to using a metal cover plate die in a traditional die cutting machine. Well this time I'm using my Cricut to do all of that work. Here I'm going to make my uh, card panel again, my placeholder, but this time I'm actually going to cut out the placeholder as well. So I'll be sure to keep that in mind while I type out my sentiment. And so I'm just going to keep it simple and put HBD for a happy birthday. And I'll choose a nice and fun font for that. I'll increase the size of this to uh, cover up more of the card panel. Then I will hit duplicate on the right. And that'll duplicate this text box to help fill my entire card panel with my sentiments and I'm just going to select the entire thing and I'm going to align it and this will help um, this will uh, align things for me uh, like vertically and horizontally. I do like to eyeball things most of the time but since this is going to be the card front I wanted this to be as straight and as spaced out evenly as possible. Once I'm happy with my design, I'll bring the uh, card panel back. Remember this time it's not just a placeholder, it's going to be the card front. And you'll notice that they're two different colors, the font in black and the card panels in gray. Well, I'm going to make them the same color. Over on the layers panel on the right, I'm gonna drag the layer on top of each other and now you'll see that they change colors so that they're both gray. So the font and the card panel are both gray on the preview screen though, it showed that it's on two different mats. So that makes me realize I did not attach them together. So that's what I'm going to do. I even change up the colors um, because it's kind of hard to see. You just see a big black square <laughs> or, or rectangle, I mean. 
and I want to make sure my cuts are there. I even tried like changing the color to light gray to see if I can see the cuts that way. But the, you know, the layers panels, layers panel says all my cuts are there, so I'm gonna trust it, <laughs> and then I'll um, move on to the cutting portion. So I'm just going to send this to the preview screen just to make sure everything's on one mat, and I trust it. So let's get to cutting. And yes, that file did end up cutting the way I wanted it to. Um, I just couldn't see it on the screen. Now I'll take some liquid adhesive that dries clear and place this on my note card. I'll also use the positive part of uh, this word cut to make another card. So now I have two cards in one pass through of the machine. Another way to uh, cut out one piece for your word cut without having to connect them together is to place them on a line. Same as before, I'm going to make my card front placeholder and then I will type out my words and choose um, a good font for it. I'm going to create a couple of these style sentiments and cut them all out at once. Then I'll head to the left toolbar and select the rectangle shape and then I'm going to format the rectangle shape into a really really skinny rectangle that is basically a line. I'll place that line directly under the sentiment to where all of the letters in the, each word is touching the line and I'll duplicate this line for the rest of these sentiments. You want to make sure each letter of each word is touching the line, so zoom in if you have to. And then I also grouped each sentiment sentence to the line just to make it easier to move around. Same as before, when I'm happy with my design, I will make a copy. This is my backup copy, uh, just in case I need to make any edits. But for my actual um, cut, I'm going to weld all of that together to make sure that the Cricut machine recognizes that this is supposed to be cut as one piece. I'll then hit the big green make it button to go to the preview screen and I'm just going to move this around because I'm cutting this on scrap paper again to save on material and I will send this to the machine by hitting continue. And if you're worried about the Cricut cutting out really delicate or intricate pieces, there's no need to worry <laughs> because um, as you can see here, these are skinny, skinny little fonts and little lines, but the Cricut cut them out no problem. My paper did curl a little bit when trying to separate the card sack from the cutting mat, but it's nothing some glue won't be able to solve. Since these word cuts are so delicate, I actually glue them on a scrap piece of paper and then smoosh down the excess before I apply it to my card front. I'll just cut off the excess cardstock and I have another card ready to go. A similar technique to words on a line is words off the edge. So instead of beer sentiment being on a line, it's going to be off the edge of a piece of paper. I'm using the you are the best sentiment from that previous card and I'm going to ungroup it and now I'm going to center the sentiment across this um, really skinny rectangle. I called it a line in the previous video but now it's a rectangle because once the sentiment is touching that rectangle I'm going to just zoom in a little bit so you can see now and then I'll click the rectangle and I'm going to increase the height of that rectangle to make it a, another card panel. Here I realize I accidentally adjusted the width of the rectangle and not the height. So I'll just undo all that. I'll zoom back in and go and adjust the height. And I like entering the numbers just because it gives me, you know, um, a more precise and accurate uh, size. So now that I see the size of my new card panel, I'm going to increase the size of my sentiment so it, you can see it a little better. You do want to make sure that your letters are still touching that rectangle um, even if you increase the size or stretch out the letters that way this will all cut out in one piece so i'll select everything center it and i'm going to uh, group it and i all will also weld it with the button at the bottom and now my cricut knows to cut it out in one piece before i hit the make it button and now i see it i'm previewing it and it's good to go so i'll send it to the machine by hit hitting continue 
And this is a simple way to make sure that your word cut is cut out in one piece. It's all straight and it's all centered. I'll just cut out the excess cardstock hanging off there. I could have adjusted it within design space, but I wasn't thinking about it at the time. A fun feature of Cricut Design Space is that you can curve your words and you can pretty much make it uh, have a slight curve or be a complete circle. And for this example, I'm going to make it be a complete, almost complete circle. So I'm going to type out my sentiments. I see I typed it up twice and I left a big space in the middle and I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm going to just move this up to the top so you guys can see it. And then I'll go to the top toolbar and hit the curve button. And I can adjust the slider to see um, how uh, much of a curve I want it to be. But first I'm going to select a circle shape to be my guide um, of a circle. Because I want this to be as close to a perfect circle as possible. So I, if I go negative, it'll curve that way. If I go positive, it'll curve that way. And that is what I'm looking for. You see why I put that space in between the two happy birthdays to you because I didn't want the words to run into each other. I didn't want someone to read it like you happy birthday too. Even though I don't think they would, it's just my neurosis. Anyway, <laughs> uh, now I'm going to zoom in a little so you guys can see that I'm now uh, resizing that circle so it matches the inside curve of my sentiment. I'm going to need to cut out the happy birthday to you and the circle in one piece. Um, I don't see or I haven't learned how to make Cricut just cut out an outline of a circle. Otherwise, that's what I would have cut out. But I'll, I'll show you a workaround for that in a little bit. So I'm just playing around with the size of the circle, making sure each of the letters in happy birthday to you touch and it's of even spacing. And I'm still playing around with the curve just a little bit more. Once I'm happy with that, I'll just move this to the side. I'm going to choose one of Cricut's really fun fonts, probably one of my favorites. It's a balloon font. Just a heads up, to use this font, you have to be uh, uh, have a subscription to Cricut Access, which I do. And this is a layering font, so it has the letter cutout and the backing to it. I don't need the letter cutout, but I like the backing and it'll help separate the happy birthday to use <laughs> um, so people you know, just it's a clearer understanding that this is, says happy birthday to you. I know I'm being kooky about this. So I'm just going to duplicate this. So I have two of them, one for the top and one for the bottom. Now here comes my workaround. Originally, I wanted this to be like a frame um, without, you know, a big solid circle in the middle. But I'm just going to create another circle that's smaller in size. And for the smaller circle, I'm going to cut it out of white cardstock. So I'll just move this off once I have the sizing right. And I'll change the color of this to white. And once I glue it all together, it'll look like a, a frame. I'm now going to group my original Happy Birthday to You design and make a copy of that just in case of the backup because I am going to make sure it's grouped and then I'm going to weld it all together and it changes to all the same color and now um, both of my images are ready to cut and I'm going to send it to the preview screen and they are they are on two different mats so one will cut a white circle and one will cut my design out. I'm going to carefully peel this off the cutting mat and it peels like a dream. And I'll just scrape off all of those little bits with my little scraper tool here. Once I'm done poking out all of those extra pieces, I'm just going to glue everything together with a white circle on top of my sentiment piece on top of a new card front. And this card is almost complete. Now I'm just going to attach all of the card fronts I made to uh, A2 size note cards. I find this easier to do just at the end. So it's um, it saves me time. It's kind of like doing things in batches. And it's really fun knowing that all of these cards are set and ready to go. So I threw a lot of techniques at you today. I hope one or more inspired you to start creating different word cuts with your electronic cutting machine. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.